The United States Federal Reserve is considering the creation of a digital dollar. Cyber currencies have many supporters, yet critics warn they would be a privacy nightmare. One currency expert claims the removal of cash would push America closer to a totalitarian state. Dale Hurd has the story. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell told the House Financial Services Committee in March that the Fed had already begun testing a digital dollar. What we're doing is experimenting in kind of early stage experimentation. How would this work? Does it work? What's the best technology? What's the most efficient? Just like paper dollars, a central bank digital currency or CBDC would be issued by the Federal Reserve. Those pushing for it say it would have several advantages over physical money. They say it could be used to fight inflation because the Fed would have more direct control over the money supply. It could speed up transaction payments and help fight money laundering. The ability to track transactions has a couple of uh, elements that are very attractive to uh, economic policymakers. One is to know where people are spending their money. Another is to track taxes and prevent evasion and that sort of thing. Backers say the U.S. needs a digital dollar if it wants to remain the world's reserve currency. Opponents warn that it could be a very effective instrument of government control. Physical money has been called one of the last bastions of privacy. Laws like the Bank Secrecy Act have already stripped away most of the privacy from bank accounts and financial transactions. Banks have really a ton of power that people don't realize to shut down accounts, to freeze accounts, and to end up holding them for really any number of reasons. Currency expert James Rickard says a digital currency would move America closer to a totalitarian state. If I buy anything, the government doesn't know it. MasterCard kind of knows it, but even MasterCard uses product codes. So they don't say, you know, Jim bought a Snickers. It says Jim bought miscellaneous merchandise at a retail place. So the government doesn't know what you're doing. But with this new central bank digital currency, they will, because they maintain the ledger. So if I buy, you know, Ron DeSantis' new book, or I go to a Donald Trump rally, or whatever it may be, the government, using artificial intelligence and having that information, which they would, are able to profile you. They say, well, this guy kind of looks like a conservative, and maybe he's MAGA. And then you've got a target on your back. Last year, a Canadian court froze millions of dollars raised for truckers blocking roads to protest COVID-19 vaccine mandates. When the Pakistani government was faced with almost non-stop protests last year, it threatened to switch off the bank accounts of the protesters. A digital dollar could not only be switched off, the Fed would be able to force negative interest rates on Americans if it wanted them to spend more, penalizing savers. Digital cash might also be an easy target for hackers. On the bank-to-bank -bank level, a real-time payment system called FedNow is expected to begin in July. It's not a digital currency, but an upgrade to what some call our antiquated banking system. FedNow service is an instant payments infrastructure that financial institutions can use to clear and settle payments instantly. Large bank deposits will be expected to clear much faster than they do now. But when it comes to a digital dollar, Fed Chairman Powell has admitted he's not at all confident that Americans want. Dale Hurt, CBN News. Well, this ought to send a chill down your spine when you read in the book of Revelation that there will come a day where you can't buy or sell. The digital currency actually enables that. If they're physical currency, whether that's coins or paper money, uh, you get to have that, and you get to have physical possession of it, and so you can go to a marketplace and you can buy. You can also take your product to a marketplace and sell them and get cash, and the government's not involved in that transaction at all. They don't even know it's happening. But in a digital currency, they will know exactly what you're buying and how much you're paying for it and who you bought it from. So now you have absolute control that they could shut off your digital currency. And in that shut off, you don't get to buy and you don't get to sell. Now, if you don't think this is something that a government can really do, let's go back to 2012, where Lois Lerner is working at the IRS 
in the non the tax exempt branch and she denies tax exempt status to any group that's got tea party in the name she denies their ability to have that status so the contributions to that political cause were shut down and she did it intentionally and it looks like she had regular meetings in the white house and I, I don't know if they discussed it, but why in the world is the head of the tax exempt branch meeting regularly in the White House? So it, the, look at this. This should be something that every American says, no, we value our privacy. And I would encourage you, I'm, I'm starting to do this more and more. When you have the chance to use cash, please use it. Uh, it, it will actually protect you in the future. Hey guys, welcome to Forward. We're a new type of doctor's office that's providing 